Hey, today let's make healthy air fryer salmon. This recipe is quick and easy, perfect for those busy weeknights and is ready under 15 minutes. And even though it is quick, this salmon is flavorful, moist, and it is sure to be a crowd pleaser. Plus, it's so easy, I'm even gonna hand over the reins today and let Dallin, our marketing manager, do it. This recipe is so easy to make and the first thing we're gonna talk about is the salmon. For this recipe, you're gonna need four salmon fillets. Today we are using a skinless, gorgeous piece of salmon, but feel free to use salmon with the skin on. Now you can also use a frozen piece of salmon, just make sure it's thawed before you start. And this salmon can be fresh from a farm, fresh from the sea, it really doesn't matter, just do whatever's economical for you. I'm gonna cut the salmon into three inch wide fillets, but every air fryer is different, so do whatever will fit in yours. This salmon ended up being a little too long, so I'm actually gonna cut it in half and just have four smaller fillets. I bought a full salmon fillet, so I ended up with enough fillets for two batches. So if you have too much, just freeze it for later. Set these aside and we're gonna start on our sauce. This sauce is well balanced and refreshing and it starts with lemon juice. You need four tablespoons of lemon juice and fresh is always best. Then we're gonna add our lemon juice into a deep container that will hold all our salmon fillets. To that lemon juice, add in two teaspoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of soy sauce. Then we need two teaspoons of minced garlic. And if you don't know how to mince your own garlic, here's the easiest way how. Place a bulb with the skin on on a cutting board. Place your knife like this and then carefully give it a pound. Then you can easily peel off that skin. Then you're gonna mince it as fine as you can, but be careful to not cut your fingers. Then once you've minced two teaspoons of garlic, scoop that up and put it in with the other ingredients. And Caitlin just let me know that scooping on the garlic to the knife with your hand is probably not the safest thing. You probably just wanna actually scoot it onto your ingredients. Give your ingredients a good mix with the smallest whisk you can find. Then put your salmon fillets into the coating and make sure both sides are well covered. Now you can let these marinate for up to 24 hours, but this is a quick and easy recipe, so we're gonna get it straight to the air fryer. Grab your air fryer and you're gonna to wanna to preheat it to 400 degrees, or if your air fryer doesn't reach 400 degrees, just as hot as it can go. Once preheated, move those fillets into the greased basket, making sure they have space all the way around them. Once the salmon's in the basket, you're gonna cover it with half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and lastly, a half a teaspoon of paprika. And if you accidentally dumped everything in one spot like me, don't be afraid to get your hand dirty and get those all mixed on. Slide that basket back in and cook it for eight to 10 minutes. You will know your salmon's done once it's reached an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit and it flakes easily with a fork. Sprinkle some dill on each filet and then you are ready to eat. And make sure to eat this while it's hot. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the description below. Be sure to check out the stayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of other restaurant quality recipes that you can easily make at home. See you later.